So, you want that job to gain experience, but you don't have the experience to be hired. We hear about that all the time at CoCloud. Learning a new technology is one thing, but gaining real work experience is totally another. And that's why we created Code Cloud Engineer, the new standard to gain work experience for IT professionals. It's your go-to platform for gaining that job experience you need. A new online space that's super immersive. This revolutionary training concept is designed for you to apply the knowledge gained using our great courses. Whether preparing for your first role or upskilling to senior levels, you'll complete technical tasks, learn how to work on open source projects, get hands-on experience on every tool, experiment with new tech and apply real-world concepts. Just like a real engineer at a real company, sign up and get a project dashboard to track your progress, view details of your company and projects, explore the architecture and access real systems right in your browser without any hassle. The work you do is real. The experience you gain is real. The roles it helps you get are real. But it's not a real job. Let's be real clear on that. CoCloud Engineer provides the perks of a real job with none of the pressure. You don't have to quit your job to join the program. No contract to be signed. No degree required. No minimum age to sign up. Fall behind and you won't be fired. You'll enjoy help from our devoted community. Advance from an associate DevOps engineer to become a senior DevOps engineer and then a DevOps architect. And with leading brands keen to chat with our top talent, become an engineer success story. Whatever level you are at, accumulate job experience from the comfort of your computer and prepare for your dream roles in DevOps, cloud computing and IT automation. Take hold of the job of your dreams. Sign up at engineer.codecloud.com to start gaining experience and it's absolutely free. Hello and welcome to the Code Cloud Engineer program. My name is Mumshad Manambat and this is Code Cloud. One of the common requests we get from our students is what's next after completing a course or a certification? How do we gain real work experience on technology? So there is learning where you learn the concepts and we have a lot of courses on our platform where you can learn new technology. And then there is learn by doing, which is where you practice what you learn by working on labs. So in all of our courses, we have labs that accompany each lecture. And that's when you learn well. So now you have learned and got some hands-on experience, but you're still not confident enough to say you have really worked on it. Working on a technology and getting real experience on it means that you have to work on it as you would in a real project. And it means doing the same tasks over and over multiple times in different scenarios. And that's when you gain real confidence in a technology. Now, while some of us are fortunate to have a real job working on these technologies every day, a lot of us don't really have a project we can work on, which makes it difficult to get that first-hand experience in working on real systems and to gain confidence and get comfortable working on a new technology. And that's why we built CodeCloud Engineer, your online job that you can join right away and start working today. You can start working today as an engineer at our imaginary company named Xfusion Corp. Xfusion Corp is a multinational industrial company who are a pioneer in various defense and strategic warfare technologies. Xfusion Corporation currently has three projects planned, Nautilus, Crusader, and Firestorm. One of these, Nautilus, is currently live and that's what you will be assigned to. Project Nautilus is the naval subdivision of the Xfusion Corp Industries. You will get further briefing of the project when you start the program. These projects are to be deployed in various Xfusion Corp data centers located throughout the world. The architecture diagram can be accessed from your portal. The project briefing video will explain everything you need to know about the project and the different applications and systems involved in it. Each project also comes with documentation that is stored on a Git repo. 
The documentation comes with infrastructure details, usernames and credentials to access the systems. You must always refer to the architecture diagram and documentation to figure out information you need to complete tasks. You will not always be given every detail and every piece of information required to complete your task. Like in a real job, you'll have to figure that out from the documentation and architecture diagram. For example, if you are tasked to install and configure database on the Nautilus DB server, you have to refer to the architecture diagram to find out which is the DB server. And then you'll have to refer to the documentation pages to find out what is its IP uh, or host names or credentials to access the systems. That's where this program gets really challenging and that's where it gives you that real world experience. Throughout this program, you will assume different roles. You will always start as a systems administrator and then move on to becoming a DevOps engineer and finally a DevOps architect. These roles are subject to change in the future and we may add additional roles as we see necessary. Each role comes with its own set of responsibilities. For instance, as a systems administrator, you will be working on basic Linux administration tasks, creating and configuring users and groups, working with file systems, storage, LVMs, installing and configuring packages, configuring services, networking, IP tables and firewalls, and deploying simple applications. As a DevOps engineer, you will work with deploying multi-tier applications, troubleshooting issues, developing automation playbooks using tools like Ansible, Chef, and Puppet, building CI-CD pipelines, containerizing applications, configuring container orchestration tools like Kubernetes, performing regular maintenance tasks, and guiding systems administrators. As a DevOps architect, you will be designing and building CI-CD pipelines, designing and building uh, container orchestration systems like Kubernetes clusters, developing automation systems, guiding systems administrators and DevOps engineers, and troubleshooting complex topics. So how do you get started? Well, head over to engineer.codecloud.com. First-time users will see a profile setup page. Update your information here. Verify it is the correct email address as any project-related communication will be sent to this email ID, such as whenever a new task is assigned to you. At the bottom, check to let us know if you are open to new opportunities. Once you gain enough experience on the CodeCloud Engineer platform, hopefully we'll be able to get you in touch with top recruiters. I will talk more about that in a bit. So submit your details and you're ready to go. You will see your dashboard similar to this. The sidebar on the left provides links to the task dashboard, the architecture diagram, and the wiki page with details about the environment. A new task has been assigned to you. In this case, it is to install a package on a system. You will have few days depending on the complexity of the task to complete it. In this case, you have two days to complete this task. You may complete the task any time before the due date. If not, the task will expire and you will lose points for it. The status column shows the status of the task. If a task is pending on you, you will see the go button. Clicking the go button will take you directly to the jump server that has access to the servers on which you must perform your task. You will be given a terminal and the task to complete on the right. In this case, you are tasked to install Git on all the web servers for the Nautilus application. Perform the required tasks and hit the finish button to mark it complete. Remember, you must verify your work to make sure it is completed as expected before hitting the finish button. Once you finish your task, you will get to see its status in the tasks page. If successful, you will see the time it took to complete. If failed, you will see the reason why it failed. Each task has a due date before which you must complete it. If not completed within the given time, it will be marked expired. You will then get a new task assigned. We have an automated task assignment system that is responsible for assigning tasks. You will always start with easy tasks. This also gives you an opportunity to get familiar with the whole system. Depending on how you complete them and how soon you complete them, you will be assigned tasks with medium difficulty and finally complex tasks. Now that is within your role. You will have tasks of different difficulty within each role. With every task you complete, you gain additional points and with additional points, you gain more experience and with enough experience, you get promoted to the next level. Now you have to be patient with us. 
you will get new tasks assigned when they are made available. And you might get similar tasks assigned multiple times. Repetition is key to gaining experience and that's one of the goals of this program. Okay, so all those points will eventually get you up on the leaderboard. Those who complete more tasks in time will gain more experience and will go up at the top of this board. Of course, this is completely optional and you can choose to not be listed on this list. If you check the open to new opportunities option while you set up your profile, then you will have a hire me button on this list that will help recruiters contact you. Of course, that is optional as well. And remember, that option only appears after you have gained sufficient experience on the platform. If you feel like taking a vacation from work, you can do that as well. Just go to your profile section and check the out of office option and you will not be assigned any more tasks. Before I let you go, I want to clear up a few things. So remember, this is not a real job, so there's no pressure. There's no negative points or penalties for not completing tasks. You won't be fired if you didn't perform well. There's no degree required for you to sign up, no contract to be signed, and of course, no pay. The sooner you complete tasks, the sooner you'll gain more experience on our platform and the sooner you get promoted to better position and gain better roles and be assigned better tasks and work on better projects. And we are always available for support. For any assistance, visit community.codecloud.com and post your query under the CodeCloud Engineer category. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and head over to the brief for the Nautilus project. I wish you all the best. Thank you.